Uh, thank you for watching our podcast again. Uh, uh, one issue that I wanted to talk about uh, briefly is the whole issue of high gas prices and uh, what policy actions the Congress should be taking and the administration should be taking to try to deal with that. Obviously, uh, when the price of gas uh, goes up as it has and we are all having to pay more at the pump, it's a major concern to family budgets, it's a major concern to the economy because it depresses the amount of money, it reduces the amount of money that people have to spend on other items. So it is a very real concern. Uh, I do think, unfortunately, uh, the, the discussion, though, often veers into uh, some myths which uh, we, we are trying to dispel and uh, uh, put aside. And uh, those myths uh, primarily are around the fact that uh, the, the, uh, uh, some, some have criticized the administration and said the reason that we've got high gas prices is because we're not allowing enough drilling to take place for oil here in this country. The truth is we have more uh, drill rigs going now than probably uh, we've had uh, in any time, perhaps ever, uh, at least uh, in, in recent years. Uh, we also have more drill rigs going than are operating in any other country in the world, as far as we can tell. Uh, we also have more production of oil by a fairly significant amount than we have had uh, at least in the last eight years. And, uh, and we also have fewer imports uh, because we are producing more of the oil that we need, uh, which we then, of course, use to refine into gasoline. Uh, so uh, the idea that uh, some failure of the administration to allow leasing is the reason why you've got high, high gas prices is just not true. Uh, also, some have argued, uh, well, there may uh, probably some problem with too many environmental requirements, and that's uh, impeding uh, the development of our oil resources. Uh, as I said before, the, the amount of development and production of oil is uh, nearing all-time highs in this country, and, uh, and all the expectations are that that is going to continue for the next several years. So uh, uh, we need to find ways to bring down the price of gasoline at the pump. The best way to do that uh, is unfortunately going to take several years to accomplish, but it is to reduce the amount of oil we have to use in the transportation sector, in our cars and in our trucks. And we're, we're working on that by uh, trying to encourage more use of natural gas uh, in transportation, in vehicles, natural gas-powered cars, natural gas-powered trucks as well. But we're also trying to encourage more use of electricity in the transportation sector. Uh, more hybrid vehicles, uh, more electric vehicles are coming to market. All of that is very positive, also biofuels we are now adding more biofuel to uh, ethanol and other types of biofuel to the gasoline and to the uh, fuel that we use and thereby displacing the need for that much oil. So that is all po positive as well. Uh, there are various of these steps that we can take and we have been taking and they are having some effect, but uh, uh, there is no simple solution to the problem of high gas prices as long as the price of oil on the world market is high. Uh, there's a direct correlation between the price of gasoline at the pump and the price of oil on the, on the world uh, oil market. And we need to find ways to, uh, to make ourselves independent of that world oil market, and the best way to do that is reduce the amount of oil we have to use in our transportation sector. So those are points I've been making. I've, I've made those on the Senate floor this week, and uh, I wanted to be sure to uh, point them out to you in this podcast. Again, thanks for watching.